Hey everyone, Sir Turban here again. And today we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna try out a new game in the channel. So obviously, you're all mostly subscribed to me because of Legends of Runeterra. Some of you might know that I play other card games, like some of you might follow me on my One Piece card game channel. Unfortunately, with the news of Runeterra kind of stopping competitive support, we don't know really how much longer we'll be playing Runeterra for. So, as I mentioned, when we got the news about a month and a half ago, you're going to start seeing some other new games, card games mostly, on the channel popping up over the next couple of months. And one of the first ones that I'm going to showcase in today's, in today's video is a new game that came out called Dragon Ball Super Card Game Fusion World. So, I'm sure everybody here is familiar with Dragon Ball, right? I, I think a lot of us grew up with it. Uh, yeah, like everywhere in the world, we, we have Dragon Ball fans out there. Uh, rest in peace to Mr. Toriyama, who passed away, unfortunately, a couple days ago from you seeing this video. Uh, but his influence and, and, and the art that he created has touched so many of us, right? So many of our childhoods. I, I still remember living in the Dominican Republic and coming back from school, just rushing to the home just so I can catch the next Dragon Ball Z episode. And it has continued that way for like, you know, like over 20 years, right? So, yeah. But today, we're going to play the Dragon Ball Super card game. This is a new card game released by Bandai, which just also has a digital client, right? So Bandai has a lot of physical card games, like One Piece. They had a previous version of a Dragon Ball card game, Digimon, for example, uh, Battle Starts, uh, Pyro Spirit Saga. And now we have this Dragon Ball Super card game, which is coming out obviously physical and digital at the same time. So the benefit here is that obviously having an official digital, digital client kind of makes things a lot better for us to try out, kind of replace that feeling that we got from Legends of Nintendo. So today you're literally going to see my very first games of playing this. I have no experience at all playing this game. Now I have watched people playing it on stream. And I obviously I'm very familiar with One Piece that has a lot of similar mechanics as Dragon Ball. But yeah, I just kind of want to see you all my raw first impressions so that we can kind of all see if this game is worth getting into or not. So we're going to go ahead and click start here. And I'm probably going to move my camera here shortly. Yeah, so when you go in, I, I already went into the game before I started the video because I kind of was setting up my account and everything. Uh, but this is kind of what you're going to see, right? This is your main screen. And from here, you can go to your deck. You can go to the store. You have your player card over here. Uh, you know, etc. You have your settings, right? So when you first start up the game, it's going to walk you through a tutorial. And I think the tutorial was actually very good. Uh, now, after you finish the tutorial, you get like a ticket that you can use in the store to redeem for one of the starter decks, right? Remember, like I mentioned, this card game is both physical and digital. The digital version of the game is pretty much kind of like a way for people to practice when they don't go to a local store or something like that. Uh, but you can also just play it if you want. If you don't, if you don't have any store close to you, you can just invest all your stuff into the digital version of the game and just play digital. That's also fine, right? At the end of the day, we're just playing games for fun. I wouldn't be surprised if eventually we get official tournaments that happen in the digital client because Bandai currently does a lot of webcam tournaments for like One Piece and Digimon. I wouldn't be surprised if instead of webcam for Dragon Ball Fusion where we get digital tournaments, right? So that's something to look forward to. But yeah, after you finish the tutorial, you're going to go here and you're going to select one of four starter decks that they offer you and redeem it, right? I already redeemed mine. I started with Broly. Uh, if you want... I guess my opinion from what I was looking around in the internet, it seems like Broly or Frieza are probably your best two options. Uh, but then you also have Goku and Vegeta if you want to just play your favorite characters, right? So similar to Unterra, right? You have a deck that you start with, you build your deck. I think for Fusion World is 50 cards that you build in your deck. Um, the difference is that you only have five different colors. And I know we only have four colors here. They haven't released any cards for that fifth color yet. But we have red here, we have blue, we have green, and we have yellow. So then you're just like the regions, your deck is gonna be built based on that color. So again, the only thing I have is the Broly starter deck. Uh, when I bought the Broly starter deck, I also was able to kind of finish a mission here. 
that gave me some additional cards that I can add into my green deck. And then you go here and you get to see your deck here, right? So if we click edit, and I guess my camera is in the wrong way here, but here you can see obviously the cards in my deck list, right? So we have 51 cards, not 50, because one of the cards is what we call leaders. And the whole gimmick of this game and similar to One Piece is that instead of having like a Nexus, like Legends of Runeterra, you have this leader card that your opponent's characters or you attack into, right? So in our case, our leader is Broly, right? And our Broly, Broly leader here kind of determines the color of my deck. So Broly is green, so the rest of the cards in my deck have to be green. Now, the gimmick with this game is that once you get low enough in life, you can awaken your leader. So think of like your favorite Dragon Ball character going Super Saiyan. And you flip the car over. Oop. You can flip the car over to get Brawly, right? So uh, the, flip the flip is right here, right? So you awaken into a bigger Brawly that now has more power and has a different effect. Again, I'm not going to make this a tutorial video. There's other tutorials out there that are probably be well better done than me. But I kind of wanted to just give you an idea of how this game kind of works. We haven't played a single game as a tutorial, so we're going to be jumping right on that here very shortly. So, yeah, I mean, again, we build our deck here with 40 cards, uh, mostly the starter deck. Again, I just added some additional cards that I got from the missions. Like I got to add an extra Broly here, an extra Turtles, um, and I think an extra, or oh, I think I changed my Broly leader as well. So, yeah, but anyways. So that's, that's going to be it, right? So the game, again, plays very differently than, than Legends of Runeterra. So it might be an adjustment if you want to try it out. I will say something right now just to make sure that you all know. It's nowhere near free-to-play friendly, right? So I don't think we're going to find a game like Runeterra that was as free-to-play as, as it was. Now, because this card game is physical first and digital second, what happens is that it works kind of like Pokemon. Whenever you buy a physical pack in the store, you actually, for each pack that you buy, you also get a card code. And you can come here and redeem your card code, right? To be able to kind of get packs that you can also redeem in the game. If you wanted to just skip the card code so you cannot find physical product anywhere, you could also always buy directly, right? You can always buy, you can buy gems and then you can trade your gems for car packs. So you, you know, your car pack is what gets you the car. Now, currently we talked about the starter deck. What was currently in the game is this first booster pack and this is like the first set, right? If you think about Runeterra terms. So this first set has a bunch of cards that can make any of your decks better, right? So you, you also have a lot, a, lot of, a lot of leaders there, right? Like if you look at the cards in the set, you have all these new cards here, a bunch of leaders, a bunch of different rarity cards, you know, epic cards, common, uncommon, rare, etc. Your champions are kind of like your leaders here, right? And yeah, so, you know, again, you're going to be redeeming packs to get the cards, right? So it's not, it's going to be like Hearthstone, it's going to be like Magic, it's going to be like Lorcana, it's going to be like any of those other games that you might be familiar with, Pokemon, right? Yu Gi Oh! That you're going to be opening packs to actually get the cards. So it's not going to be like Runeterra where you just get really cards for free just by playing the game, right? Now, you do get gems for free as you play, right, with the missions and stuff, but yeah. Anyways, enough of me rambling. I just wanted to kind of give you a quick introduction. Again, you know me, guys. I'm not good at, like, tutorial type of stuff. I'm here for just gameplay. I'm here for just gameplay and talk through you through my thought process. I recommend a million other channels out there that are explaining everything that I just explained better. But not only that, just download the game. Download the game, go through the tutorial, and as you go through the screens for the first time, it explains to you what each screen does. But anyways, let's go ahead and actually jump to my first games of Dragon Ball Future World. All right, so here we go looking for our very first match of Dragon Ball Fusion World. And we're up against another level one player, so good. At least we're not getting matched up against someone who seems to know the game. And we seem to be going up against Goku. Now, unlike just having a regular board like in Runeterra, we have this very fancy animations. Your mulligan here happens all or nothing. So we're gonna, I think, change this, honestly. 
Yeah, we're gonna change this. I feel like I saw the Broly, but I didn't have like any other early stuff that I need. Because the way I understand it is that Broly is kind of like a more... Uh, and maybe I'm blocking my character too much. I'm trying to see what the best way to position this is, to be honest. Because I'm trying to see what information from the from the cat from the game comes into play. So I I probably fix my camera a little bit. I don't want to go and put it down here because I'm blocking my my like deck size and car hand size. But I guess maybe it doesn't matter. So. The, what the opponent is doing right now is that instead of having mana every turn, instead of getting a mana every turn, you have to actually put one of the cards in your hand to your mana pile. And that's how you get mana, right? So like here we're in the charge phase. So we have to charge one of our cards. And I think we're going to charge... Hmm. We're going to charge this... We're going to charge this guy. Because now what I can do is that I can play this here, right? And I can look at the top five cards and pick. Yeah, we'll use the energy here. I don't know what I'm doing, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, we'll get the event, so at least we get some card value, right? And then here, we can actually use our leader to attack into the opponent's leader. Yeah, I'm just going with the motion, guys. I guess we get to draw a card. So in be after you attack, you get a chance to like make your leader stronger by adding the value that you see on the top and the left of the card here, right? So here we just attack our leader for 15 into 15. If the health and the power are the same, if the two powers are the same, then the opponent takes the damage if they don't block. But they can block by again comboing out which means giving themselves like a plus five in this case or a plus ten a lot to explain again i'm just playing this so i don't I'm, I'm, I'm need to attack with this guy obviously because he's kind of rested i do have another energy because i went second i get an extra energy but i want to save this extra energy for like a bigger unit later on i don't want to use it because once you use this extra energy or extra mana that you get you lose it forever. Um, you can only use it once per turn. So the opponent charge another card here, right? And they play Krillin. And what does Krillin do? Oh, it gets an additional 5k power. Okay. He also lets the opponent add a card from their life. So they ended up adding a card from their life here. So they go down to 7 life. And it's okay to take your own life because you want to go... Like, you're trying to go down to... Um, you're trying to go down long enough to awaken your leader, right? So, we're gonna take this one and go down to seven ourselves. Oh, perfect. And then here, what I can do, opponent drew a card because they attack with their Goku. They Goku, anytime he attacks, he gets, he gets like, uh, draw a card. So the opponent only attacks for 15. I'm gonna go here and combo to go to 20. Because you can use the car on the field to also defend, right? So that's what we did here. Now, I want to play a two drop, right? So we can play. Hmm. I kind of want to. I need to charge something first. I need to charge something first. Um, let's charge this big Broly. I could play this, but it seems like a waste just because I don't have anything else. The other option is that we can attack first and then draw. So what if we attack first into the Krillin? We draw a card, we get another Broly. Do I wanna do I wanna force the opponent to give me this Krillin? Now I think we just say okay. I might just play this little blocker. So we do have blockers here. So when the opponent attack into my leader, I can use this blocker. And part of the reason I want to play that is so that when I play Paragus later on, we're able to actually bring it back. Opponent gave me a 1k counter, which means that they must not have any 5k cards in their hand. Um, hmm. So let's go here. Yeah, let's go here. Let's play this guy. We use, the, we use the energy here. You get to choose which energy you want to use. And then we'll end the turn. 
I want to awaken. I want to awaken here. I have a blocker. And then next time I have four energy. So that means that we'll be able to play the Vegeta. I still don't want to play this. I don't want to use this special energy. Because I want to do it when I have this guy in the field. I guess I don't have anything in my discard. Hmm. I don't have anything in my trash that I can actually put into my life. Yeah, but it's just going to build their board here. So I can block here. I can block this because this is at 25. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. <laughs> I'm just playing however I've seen people play in streams. As I get better, obviously, I'll explain things to you guys better. So here, the opponent attack for 20. What we can do is that we can combo out here. Because we're going to play the, the this guy later, right? So we can combo out with 1,000. Not take that life. And let it end. So I don't take life. Then the opponent attacks me with their leader. And when they attack me with their leader, I think I do take this one. I want to take that one damage. Yeah, I think we take this one damage. Go down to six. And we get another Goku, right? So we want to see these Gokus down here. I want to combo out. Like, I need to combo out with a three drop later on. Right? Because that, now that we have a four drop on the field, when we play this Goku... Uh, this, this, sorry, this Tolls here will be able to actually get value. So here we're going to charge again. And I think we're going to, again, charge this Broly or this Broly. I think we're going to charge this Broly. I like playing Vegeta here. What I want to do is try to kill their Krillin. So I'm going to try to kill their Krillin first. We go ahead... I think we go ahead and combo here. I think we combo, try to kill the Krillin. I'm okay with them having one unit, but I don't want them to have two units on the field. So we try to kill the, the Krillin. And then with the three that we have, we can play Vegeta. And Vegeta has a keyword called critical. That means when I attack the opponent's life, they don't get that life to their hand. They actually trash it to their graveyard or their discard right so here we go we get to take the critting out now the problem is this freaking this freaking uh guy here could be a problem maybe we actually just go here first yeah maybe we go here and we can actually from we can go ahead and use the skill Get our blocker on the field, right? And we can attack the opponent's leader for 15. I like it. We can also attack their Prickler for 25. Uh, no, no, no. Let's, um, I don't want to give the opponent the life, but let's actually put a little bit of pressure on them, I guess. Yeah, so again, it's, it's kind of like you have all these cool animations here. Okay, so I don't want to put my camera here because I get to I, I keep looking at the cards. So the only thing that you guys are missing in the bottom right corner is me blocking my deck size, my hand size, and my... Yeah, no, I, th I think the bottom camera looks fine, right? Let me see here. I need to make it a little bit smaller. Yeah, we'll just go here, put my face. Yeah, opponent took it. Uh, we're, we're starting to get close to that point where we're going to have a lot of mana. So when my life is a four or less, add one card from my life to my energy in rest mode. Then flip this card over. So when I go to four, I'll be able to add an additional energy here. And then that's when we start playing these guys. So this tools lets me add something from my discard back to my thing this guy as well can continue summoning the blockers so if i can save this paragus i should be okay oh that's a nice reset okay so here the opponent's attacking for 25 
I think we take it. I think we take it. We could also go here, but I don't think that makes sense. I think you want to use that more in the offense. If I go to four here, I'll be in a decent spot. Hmm. This one, I feel like I want to block. And then we just take the life from the... Because we're going to get this guy back by summoning it with this Paragus. Because once I get my leader big enough, we'll be able to start like attacking more into their cards. I do think I want to clear their board. I think I can control their board more than the opponent. I also have a lot more cards. Ah, yeah. See, they went after the Paragus. If they don't give me anything else, I'm just going to give them a 5k. Okay, they went to 25. So they go to 25. So we can use this guy and it gives us 20. Or we can use this guy and this guy. And go to 30. So 25 into 30 means that my unit stays alive, right? Now, the opponent made it so that I actually cannot awaken this turn. So I cannot awaken this turn. Uh, let's charge this, right? And now we can actually play this Goku. Ah, uh, this Tolls. I don't know why I keep calling it Goku. Yeah, we'll use all our energy. Uh, we're going to go ahead and send the Vegeta, right? So we have one energy still, right? Then we can use this skill to get ourselves the blocker again. Now here we have 15. This is 25. If we go here... I don't want to use this yet because it feels like a waste using it now while I don't have the energy that I need, right? If I go after their leader, I'm just giving them cards. Hmm. This is weird. Let's go here first. Let's go here first. And uh, we'll go ahead and put in this 10k. Make it so that the opponent has to actually block that, save that Piccolo. I'm okay with the opponent having like one unit on the field, but like if I don't control the board, I think I'm gonna just lose the game. I don't know what I'm doing, by the way. <laughs> oh, they used a super combo, so they went up to 20,000. Okay, so. Wow. All right, all right, all right. So. How do we do this then? Do we go. Because we can give it 15 to go to 30. We can go here into the Freezer. I think I'm gonna go with the, into the Freezer first. I think I'm gonna go into the Freezer first. Opponent gave me a super combo, which means that they probably don't have enough. Yeah, they gave me another super combo here, right? If I can take out another super combo out of them, we should be in a decent spot. So we can go here. We're gonna use this skill. We're going to use the last energy that we still had open, right? So this guy goes up to uh, 30, right? So we are 30. And um, do, we go, do we do more? Do we do more or do we just leave it here? I think we just leave it like this. Opponent gave me two super combos, right? So they have to have a third super combo here. Ah, there we go. We get to kill the Frieza at least. And we still have the blocker. So does that mean that the opponent has like no cards that can counter out? So maybe they have cards that have no counter value on them. Taking that many. Oh, they get to play a big Goku. What does this guy do? Double strike, choose up to one of the power cards. It gets minus 2,000 power for the turn. So they can kill my Turtles here. I need to get one damage here. <laughs> yeah, I need to get one damage here. Uh, we're not going to activate the skill. We're going to let this die. Yeah, we're going to let this die. 
we want the opponent to hit my life once and we're gonna use the blocker on the paragus because remember we can continue bringing the blockers back over and over again now we need to use the blocker actually on the double attack because if we let that double attack hit us we're gonna be taking too much damage we can charge this destructive strength i don't think we're gonna need it anytime soon i'm looking for my broly if i get my big broly we should we will be next we will be in such a good spot yeah so the opponent goes for it so then we go here and block it because again we know that we can bring back the blocker with this guy with the paragus okay okay opponent oh, we have such a big car advantage the only downside here is that i don't think the opponent is gonna hit my life now because they they don't need to hit my life right like they don't need to hit my life so i unless i get a card that lets me take a life myself i'm still not gonna not gonna be able to awaken maybe i should just awaken anyways opponent only has one car so there's a good chance that we can kill this goku so if we play turtles the opponent has one car if they counter out of that I guess we cannot do it. We'll have to just go after the Piccolo and just get the double attack from that Goku later. This is a... Uh, this game is complicated. <laughs> this game is complicated. Yeah, so cool. We take it. And this is my very first game. But again, I'm used to playing One Piece and I'm also used to watching a lot of people play this game. Yeah, so they're going to go here. They draw the car. If you don't counter to it, I will just save this. We can go double blocker. Nah, let's save it. I was gonna say we can go like, we can give him the tolls and then just go from it that way. But I think we just get this tolls to try to get to eight. So here, there's the Brawly, right? So now we can charge this, get to six. This gets us to seven, and then next turn we get where we need to be, right? So let's activate the skill here, get a blocker again. The only downside is that my Broly's not killing anything, right? My Broly's not killing anything, so I don't wanna play, I wanna play Tolls first. And I'm gonna send again, I'm gonna send, I guess, this guy back. So now we go up to seven, right? Now here, I think we go ahead and try to attack into the Piccolo. Keep them so that they also don't get to awaken. Next up, we'll have Broly. And what Broly does is that I get to draw a card and I choose one of my characters, char uh, one of my opponent's characters and just straight up KO it, right? So we can just KO any of the opponent's characters. And then when I attack with Broly, he gets to switch back to active mode. So I get to attack with him twice. Now, I still want to get the draw from Broly attacking. So what we're going to do, I guess we'll attack into their life. Yeah, we'll attack into their life. I think we can get them down to five. I think we'll get them down to five for now. And just chill. I don't think we attack with this guy. I think we just... I think we just pass. I think we just pass. Because if this guy is not rested, the opponent cannot attack into it. Now, the card advantage situation has flipped. But, again, we wanted to just ramp up for this Broly, right? Like, all this time, we've been trying to go for all this uh, all this uh, mana advantage so that we could play this Broly and then swing the state of the game. Choose up to one opponent with the thousand power and KO. So they're going to KO the blocker? Oh, they're going to actually KO my unit. All right interesting so you leave the blocker we don't activate it right we take this go to four and now we can awaken and when we awaken we get an additional an additional 10k power which means that now we can actually start attacking to the opponent so the opponent decided to go kamehameha here And they give this minus 5k, but I'm okay. To, I, I was always going to take this damage. Yeah, so I'm always going to take this damage, right? And these are some of the cool animations that you see in this game. So now we go to 4 life. And again, when I go to 4 life, I can now awaken. 
And when I awaken... Okay. So when I awaken, I can place an energy. I do not want to activate this. I think for here, we just go for a 10k counter, right? We just combo out. I want to get the draw first before I awaken. Because I believe I can awaken. Yeah, so now we activate the blocker. Stop that double attack, right? And again, this blocker has made the opponent's life just miserable. Next up, we go Broly. So, I, I want to see... I, I, I'm pretty sure you can awaken during the attack. But maybe I'm wrong. Let me see this real quick. When can I awaken? Can I awaken during the attack? Or does he have to just be... Yeah, so we'll charge this guy here, right? So, I can attack, draw the car, and then awaken, maybe? Hmm. Oh, wait, I, I, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I think we'll just awaken. I think we'll just awaken here, so we'll flip this. Right, so we get an energy there. Then we'll play the eight cost Brawly. We'll have this big Brawly as well. So we'll play this Brawly here. We'll select the energy. We'll KO this guy, right? So we get to kill their big character here, right? And now what we can do here is that we can activate my skill. Place one of your energies in your drop, draw one card and this card gets, yeah. So we'll go ahead and do this. And yeah, we'll send this back. We don't need more than eight energy. So this is fine. So we're 30 here. And with 30, we can just attack into here. We know that this is gonna die unless the opponent has a super combo. So we can attack into their Android 18 first. Okay, okay. Opponent should be losing here now, right? I guess they could have a double attack, but that's what we have the blocker for. So the opponent wanted to have like... We also have a lot of counter in our hand. So even if the opponent has a double attack, we should be okay. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I can awaken during the attack, by the way. So I could have gotten an extra attack, an extra draw if I attack first. I'm going to have to double check that, but don't quote me on it. Don't quote me on it. I think opponent might have actually just rage quit at this point. Now that I have my Broly flip. These games are long, by the way. So they're not going to be like quick 10 minute games. Or 5 minute games that like you might be used to in Runeterra. Uh, some of these games are going to take you like 30 minutes. Like this one is already 24 minutes I've been recording. And we're not even done. The opponent's leader is still at 5. And when they flip, they're going to be able to get some more value. Now, the thing is that when they flip, they're going to take a life, right? So, this is going to even make them longer. Yeah, I think opponent rage quit, right? He says waiting for the opponent to reconnect here. Yeah, so the opponent just literally ult F4. And that's our very first game, right? I did a horrible job explaining things to you guys. And that's because this is my very first game. So, like, I'm still getting used to all of these mechanics and stuff. Um, So, I don't know anything here. The opponent, you, you have a little turn timer here that's going to run out. And when this runs out, we'll get the victory. But overall, honestly, this first game, I like it. I like it. We'll play another game here to make the video like about an hour. Hopefully, we get another player that's like low level. Because the matchmaking currently is also messed up. So sometimes you can get matched up against like master level players, right? Um, I like it. This is cool. There's a lot of thinking here. Because you have to like you have to like counter out. You have to decide whether you want to clear the board or not. Uh, this card though is busted like this card is so good and this is what makes green and Broly probably the best one to start with because you're able to just drop this Broly when you have eight mana and just clear the opponent's board like how we did right here right and the rest of the deck is kind of built to kind of get us there so yeah pretty cool <laughs>
Yeah, so here we go. We got the victory. Opponent finally got disconnected. Even didn't let us just get the finishing touches, unfortunately. So that's our very first victory. Our very first game, we got a victory. Again, watch the tutorial. Watch the tutorial. Well, not watch the tutorial. Play the tutorial. A lot of the things that I did in the game there were just things that I knew from the tutorial. It seems like there's a lot going on at once, and there is a lot going on. But once you get used to it, you start seeing the strategy and how to actually end up playing the game, right? So we're still on bronze five, right? Our very first match here, and we get 20 points. Woo! And we got to level two. <laughs> so let's do one more game and just see how it goes. In this match, we're going against another newish player, right? So level five, and this time is Broly versus Broly. Okay, okay. Uh, it seems to me like whoever has the most Broly's here wins this game. So I'm gonna just mulligan everything and try to get my Broly's. We don't get any Broly's. <laughs> we do get to go second, so we have the energy marker, so that's not bad. We have no ramp cards either, so that's gonna be a little bit unfortunate. Yeah, that's gonna be a little bit unfortunate. Um. Hmm. Okay, we can play this, so I guess we're gonna charge here. Uh, we're gonna attack here, and then we're gonna play here. Okay. So we're gonna attack like this. Opponent should always take this. Okay, so the opponent must be a new player. You wanna take. You definitely wanna take that early life. I guess the pants, actually. I guess if they have the blocker here. Oh, I see. They didn't take it because they have the other thing, right? So the reason they did that is because they have the paragon. So they have the Paragon and we whiffed. We whiffed our Surge, so we end the turn. We whiff our Surge there. So the opponent must have the par uh, sorry, the pa the Paragos here to bring back that blocker, right? Yes, they do. Just like I expected. So that's why they counter out with it, so they could get the value here. Alright, cool. Good for you, opponent. So uh, we're just going to take it then, and we're going to be taking a lot of damage because opponent, ha opponent has the combo and we don't. Yeah, because the opponent has the combo here and we don't, it's going to be a lot of damage that we're going to be taking. Yeah. I want to find my own Shamayan. Yeah, see how the opponent didn't attack with the Paragus? Because they know... They know they need to keep the Paragus uh, active as much as they can, right? So we'll attack here, get the draw. Uh, we're just going to kill here. We're not even going to attack into the opponent's life. Opponent can get a free block and then replay it. We can go Nappa and that's going to force a 10k from the opponent. Yeah, we'll go like this. I guess if we go here, we can combo here. Force the opponent to give me two cards or a super combo. Okay. I just don't want to leave that alive as well, right? Because the opponent... We know the opponent's not going to attack with this guy because he just gets in the blockers back, right? I wish I had my own Shamoyan. It feels bad in this mirror when you don't have it. We haven't seen Broly either, so like our ramp is not gonna matter much. They also got to ramp themselves. The good thing here is that it means that they don't have any other units, right? The bad thing is it means that they're not attacking. Oh, they still attack. Interesting. I guess it's a free attack. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm taking so much damage here just because I'm looking for stuff, right? I guess if we flip, we'll be in a decent spot. Yeah, I guess flipping puts us in a decent position. We'll go like this. Where are my Shamoyans? Hmm. I have a lot of cards. I have a lot of cards. Opponent also has a lot of cards. Opponent should just block here for free, right? I don't see why they wouldn't. 
So if we attack now, we're just giving them for, giving them this for free, which I guess they're gonna do it anyways, right? But it just gives them another attack to attack into. Yeah, so let's go here for now. We'll end the turn and we'll just flip. We'll just try to flip next time. Although I guess the opponent is gonna just target an Nappa. So they can still use this as a combo piece to get another 5k and then be able to resummon it with this uh, Paragus. With Broly is nowhere on sight still. And the opponent gets their own block. Okay, so we probably want to do the same thing, by the way. So we probably want to counter out with... We need to counter out with this guy here because we probably want to do the same thing and play this play these trolls. Now, the benefit here is that the opponent attacked into me. So we're just gonna flip, right? Now this is critical, so I need to just counter that one. So we will get to flip and awaken. If they attack for tur with turtles, I have to probably start clearing their board. I mean, it's just so bad. We don't have Broly and we don't have the Shamoyan blocker. So if opponent has it, we are screwed. Yeah, so they go for the critical. So we can flip first. Here we go. So we flip, go to 25, and then we just give you a, a, a 10k. And that's 35. So next time it does let me play the tolls without using my special energy here, which is good for us. I'm still not comfortable where we are. Because we don't have Broly. Yeah, this doesn't look great. Oh, you know what? I'm, I, I also don't have a way to actually ramp up here. Unless I combo with this first. So I guess we go like this. And uh, we combo here. I want to get rid of this guy. Let's combo twice. Let's force the opponent to give me the blocker. It could be a super combo as well, right? If they have the super combo, they have the super combo. Which is another thing that we don't have, by the way. We don't have a super combo. So we don't have a super combo. We don't have a super combo. We don't have our blocker. We don't have our Broly. Literally, our deck is just failing us. Oh, they took it. So they took it because they want to be able to just ramp up, I guess. Oh, they want to be able to just... Uh, they want to be able to just get this stuff, right? Yeah, so this is, this is critical, and this is also critical. Uh, we'll attack with the 25 first. Opponent probably doesn't want to take this double critical hit, even if it means that they get to... Yeah, that's what I thought. They don't want to take those critical hits. They don't want to take the critical hits, because it does mean that you're gonna be losing that card forever, right? Now here we are 30 into 15. If the opponent has 20, they can go to 25. So I think we just go... You know what? I think we still go for it and just tell the opponent if you have the super combo, you have the super combo. I kind of don't want to use this skill just yet until I get past 8. So they took the critical hit, so they lose that card to their drop. And we just end the turn. Again, the, the blocker difference is so huge here. I mean, I, I am flip, so that is good. And these units all have critical on them, so the opponent's gonna start losing a lot of cards. And we have these events to kind of try to push some crazy damage later on. But it's just so unfortunate. And if the opponent has Broly, we literally cannot do anything. So they ramp up to eight. Now 
they play the 30k here. Okay. Ah, uh, what are we doing here? We have to definitely use the Broly skill next turn, right? Oh, they're gonna KO. They have the big Ben attack, right? So they KO one of my units here. You can KO eat any of them, right? So they lose one energy to KO one of my characters for free. I don't know what to do, guys. If opponent has Broly, on top of having like the blocker, going down to two life seems so risky. I mean, opponent's gonna attack here, right? Opponent's gonna attack here first, just to get the draw from Broly. We can always go here, I guess. And this gives me 25. So they go to 20? Wait, they actually... Huh. Wait, but that 20 doesn't matter. I'm at 25. So you just gave me a card for no reason? I'm confused. Yeah, they gave me the Vegeta for no reason. I mean, the is also kind of new, right? They get the Shemoyan. Again, this, this card is like the bit of my existence right now. We're gonna get so much value out of it. One is getting so much value out of it. So. We don't have anything. <laughs> we don't have anything meaningful here that we can do. We got it, guys. We actually got it. Wait a second. We actually got it. So we can go we can go here to charge that, right? We can play this guy. Right? We're gonna have a lot of leftover. We can activate my skill. And uh, yeah, we'll just put this in the job. We'll draw a car. It's just a raditz. So we're at 30 now. So with 30, we can go here. I want to kill this card first before anything else. The problem is I'm still losing to Broly. And we don't have our Broly, right? Yeah, so this is 30. This is going to be 30 when we give it this Shamoya. And then we can summon it back with the Paragus. The good thing is that I know I can kill this for sure. Yeah, so I can combo here. So I can combo here to go to 30, forcing the opponent to give me the last card that they have in their hand. They take it. So... Interesting. So we know we can use the skill here. Get ourselves the blocker, right? I think we have to put pressure into them now, right? So I'm thinking we go... We go here first. And just attack them with critical so that they lose that card. I want them to give me the last card in their hand. I guess they could just block here, right? I could just block here. So maybe we don't... I mean... We can let them... No matter which way we attack, the opponent will be able to do it. I, I guess we'll just go for it. We'll just go for it. They let the opponent awaken at this point. It doesn't matter, right? I think at this point, we have to let them awaken. If they have the Broly, they have the Broly. I don't have Broly, right? So if the opponent has Broly, they can just Broly. So, do you have it? They are waking without drawing, so the opponent ended up missing in one card draw. They 
They go ahead and get their blocker. If it's not Broly, we would have been okay. Yeah, it had to be not Broly. The opponent killed the wrong one, right? They needed to kill this guy. Because now I can just get that blocker back. I guess the opponent might be looking to just have Leto here. Yeah, opponent's just looking to have Leto here, but that's why we have this. This takes me to 25. Uh, that's, that's plus 25 here. Which takes me to 50. Opponent has to be careful because I could have Leto next turn. They only have three cards. They're going to get two cards from their life. I would like to keep these guys if I can. The, the giant meteors. I think we take it. I think we take it, right? So, let's think about this. That doesn't do anything unless you're going to give it power. They went instant Kamehameha. So they go to 30. So they go to 30 here. Thirty-five, and they got rid of their blocker. So they go to thirty-five. If we take the thirty-five, I need to. We can combo here, right? So we have ten k here that we still have to account for. Opponent has no more energy, so they shouldn't have a way to do this. They go forty-five. Even if they have double ten k, that's sixty-five. We can get to fifty and 65 here and then we can block the broly so we take it we let the opponent go all in yeah i think we take it right let the opponent go all in and give us all their cards so they go 30 here 40 50 right so they go 50 and this is gonna be a 45 so since they went 50 we can go here. And that takes me up to 50. And then we give a 10k. Okay. And we block that. Then the opponent attacks with 45. And we can just go for 50 again. And we're okay now because we had all this energy that we've been saving so we go to 50 and the opponent loses the game right so the reason that i said that the opponent loses the game is because what's going to happen here is that we can attack with vegeta first right so we can attack with vegeta first and vegeta is a critical attack we also finally got the broly right so yeah we can charge this we can attack with Vegeta first, and Vegeta is critical, so the opponent doesn't get the card to their hand. And not only that, but remember, they don't have any damage, right? And then we can go here, and this is also critical, and we can combo here to go to 25, and the opponent doesn't get the card to their hand. And then we go here. Honestly, I don't want to even play the Broly. I just want to finish this game. And then we kill them, and that's going to be lethal. Opponent had no card in their hand to counter with, so those two events ended up being so clutch at letting us just survive long enough to be able to do this. And I thought we were gonna lose this game, right? So, wow, okay, so yeah, I mean, wow, we didn't get the blockers early on, but we were able to still kind of manage to come back and eventually push the damage that we needed. And that's our second victory, which takes us to bronze four. So, GG's. Hey, welcome back everyone. Hope you enjoyed those games of Dragon Ball Fusion Roll. Uh, yeah, I need to learn this game, right? So after this video, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to be playing a lot of this. 
uh, I do have the week off next week, so maybe I'm going to be doing some streams of Dragon Ball Fusion World. But there's a lot that I need to learn on how to play this game and try to build a deck better, right? So I do like the idea of Broly. I just need to see how we can make this better than, than what we have currently, right? So pretty good. Uh, feels really good, right? The game feels good. Again, once you get used to it, you kind of get an idea of what you need to do. Um, yeah, not much I can say, right? Again, we're going to... How, how am I going to put this? We're not going to make this all of a sudden a Dragon Ball Fusion World channel. We're going to make this a general TCD channel. Locana, Legends of Terra, Dragon Ball Fusion World. Uh, there's other card games that are coming out in the future, like Shadow Burst, Worlds Beyond, etc., um, etc., et right? Like Marvel Snap, Pokemon TCG that I've been playing a lot in the past month and a half. Just trying out all these different card games and kind of bringing it to you guys so that this channel just doesn't die now that Winterra is unfortunately dying. Uh, aside from that though, I mean, you know, we're gonna have a mix of everything. One Piece has a separate channel, so if you guys like One Piece, you can go watch that. I think that's gonna be it for us for now, right? We, we're gonna continue trying out this game, bringing you different decks, just like how we used to do with Legends of Winterra, kind of showcasing every single of these leaders. So if you like this content, make sure to like it below and subscribe to us. We post TCG videos every single day, not just Room Terror anymore, TCG videos every single day. So I hope that you enjoyed the uh, extra game content here. Love you all. Thank you for all the support. And I'll see you all again tomorrow. Don't forget to follow us on Twitch and Twitch channel. Don't forget to join our channel. We have the join button or in the description so that you can get access to different perks. Don't forget to join our Discord and our Twitter. The links to all of those are in the description below. Now, okay, now, now, I'll see you, see you guys. See you all.